Hi there, this is Nancy Akpezu, the lead consultant at Pezu Smith Consulting. It's been a while I dropped a video and I just thought to do a quick one before I get on with my day's activities. And so if you've never met me, I'm Nancy Akpezu and I'm the lead consultant at Pezu Smith Consulting. I'm the author of several phenomenal books, five actually, but this is one of my books, Dear Educator. There is also the School Administrator's Companion, Effective Boarding House Administration, um, From Curiosity to Mastery, My Chat GPT Story. And then there is also my latest book, um, The School Storekeeper's Companion. So I have five published books, but three are in printed format, while two are in e-copies. All the books are in e-copies, but only two have not been printed at all. Okay, so um click the button by the way if you're watching on youtube and make sure you subscribe don't just come in and run away let's develop a relationship by you um subscribing and actually turning on the notifications so that you'll be notified whenever i drop a new video so i've actually been very busy learning the whole of last weekend i was at two leadership conferences and i must say it was an amazing time of learning and also networking. And I'll be sharing tips that I learned from the various sessions um, from the speakers. So I'll start with the one by Greg, um, Craig um, Goshel. I'm sure you know him um, if, you're, uh, if you know the U Bible app, okay? And so his title was actually The Future of Leadership is Trust. And we all know that trust is a very, very expensive thing these days because there be a lot of followers, a lot of people, a lot of subordinates, a lot of employees are being let down by their employers or the people they look up to as leaders or their managers. And um, one of the key things I learned from him is that if people do not trust you, they will not follow you. And we all know that it takes time to build trust. But very importantly, one of the things I also learned is that you need to trust the people that you lead. You also need to trust the people that you lead. So it's not enough that you make them trust you. You should also trust them. And there were three things he shared, three qualities. You know, I actually said it could be done on a scale for you to evaluate yourself about three things that will help people to trust you. And one of them is transparency. The other is empathy. And the other is consistency. So if you are you transparent in the way that you go about your business, in the way you go about managing information uh, as it relates to the staff to enable them to do their job. We all know how tough it is for some managers and leaders to share information with the people that they lead because they feel that they are privileged, more or less. And so um, they do not think it's, it's important to share information but I'm here to tell you that you need to share information with the people you need, you lead as much as possible, all of the information they need to get their job done. And the questions that they ask you, you should be able to answer them transparently. And in being transparent, it might lead you to being a bit vulnerable. And that's the part that we do not like as leaders, that part of being vulnerable, that part of revealing a part of ourselves, especially a weakness that we have. You know, instead of just appearing as a superhero that we usually portray ourselves to be, there's a place to be transparent and to be vulnerable. And he did something that was quite unique during the conference. He shared a part of his weakness, which, you know, made him seem really human and easy to connect with. So I'd like us to know that when we are open, when we share a part of our journey, maybe our struggles or whatever it is that our process that got us to where we are with transparency, then it becomes easier for people to trust us, okay? If you've been following me, you will know that I, I share experiences in the four schools where I have been an administrator. And sometimes I share the challenges that I've also had on these journeys to show you that I am not perfect and that along the way I made mistakes. And that's one of the reasons I'm so passionate about teaching, administration, and management to those who follow my work. So another is empathy. I would say that if you were to rate me when I was an employee on a scale of one to 10 on empathy, I would not score very high. 
And that's because I'm a very procedural person and I love things to just be done properly. And I get um, a bit worked up when people do not follow procedures, when they do not um, do the right things. Uh, so I think in that case, um, the people who have been my subordinates at one point or the other might not say that I had a very high level of empathy. Of, of course, it's something I've had to develop like over the years now, because tr truly you, you need to step back sometimes and put yourself in the shoes of the people that you lead. Uh, are they happy to follow you? Do you understand them? Do you understand their pain points? Do you feel their pain? When you communicate with them, when you lead them, when you give directives, you take time to ponder how you cut across to them and how uh, what it is that is running through their minds and uh, what it is that um, actually um, drives them even to work. So if you're able to do that, um, to step back and think about them, how they feel, it will, it will help us in the way that we communicate and the way we try to cut across to them. Another is consistency. Nobody wants to follow anybody who is a yo-yo. And today you're saying A, tomorrow you're saying B. So a level of consistency is very important in um, building credibility as a leader. And of course, which will make people to trust you enough to follow your lead. I hope I've been able to just share a bit. Um, by the way, if you do not follow me on my blog, I'll be sharing a lot of these posts in details. But for the videos, I'll just do a, a few clips of maybe 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes to share my learnings from the various sessions at the conferences that I attended. Okay, so one of the things he said was transparency plus empathy plus consistency equals trust. So if you miss out on any of these, you will need to develop it to gain the trust of the people that you lead. And transparency can be um, likened to a truth that you share, a truth to share, while empathy is, um, you know, a heart to care. People do not care how much you know until they know how much you care about them. They don't care all of the knowledge you have, all of the skills and experiences that you're bringing to bear on their position but just have a heart that cares for them and that communicates love and that yes, you feel them and you understand them and you'll be able to have them follow you. And consistency, of course, is about just staying true to who you are, to your core values, remaining the same, like even though you're improving, but just making sure that your core values are in place um, all of the time and that you do this over a period of time so that you are known for it, okay? I'm sure when you think administration and management, school administration and management, I readily come to mind because people have told me over the years that I have been consistent. So if you have not subscribed to this channel, I don't know what you're waiting for, please subscribe, share in the, in the, in the comments what you have learned from this session. And if you were at the Global Leadership Conference, which is an annual conference, please let me know what you learned from Craig Russell's session and from the other speakers. So I'll take on uh, my bits from other speakers uh, in another video. And each video, I'll just do a recap just in a few minutes of what I learned. Do have an amazing week. And I hope that you will remember to subscribe to my channel and to also visit my website, www.nancyekbezu.com. I look forward to bringing more amazing videos to you. But until then, remember to keep it positive and be consistent, transparent, and exhibit empathy as a leader. Ciao, ciao.